I want to take a moment to thank Commissioner Adam Silver yet again for coming on my daytime television show, quite frankly. He had a lot of things to say, entertaining changes in All-Star Weekend, uh, but highlighting that a lot of positives are going on. And I got to tell you, when he highlighted those positives, I feel an obligation to articulate some of those positives myself because there's a lot of stuff to peel from what's transpired with the NBA. Okay? It really, really is. Just look at it for a second here. The NBA, yes, the NBA Finals ratings were down 6% when Denver took out Miami in five games, six games actually. Right? Five game series. I apologize. But remember, the NBA set records for total attendance, average attendance, percentage of capacity, and sellouts in the 2022 2023 season. 22.234 million fans. 79. I'm sorry, 791 sellouts, which was the most ever last season. 791 sellouts last season. 18,077. That was your average attendance, which was a record. And by the way, 97% capacity. Think about that. Think about that. 97% capacity. That simply means if the average arena holds about, say, 20,000 fans, the average attendance was 19,400. Or 97% capacity. My researcher got me that information. Appreciate it. I'm just looking at this stuff right now. And the NBA is in a very, very good place. But I'm not blind. Slam dunk contest needs to be fixed. It's an atrocity. We got a G League as the champion. I mean, they got to do something. They got to do something. The year before was a national, was an international disgrace. You got dudes trying to dunk in Timberlands. Timberland boots. Everybody missing 14 different dunks before they made 15. Got to change. Got to get more effort during NBA All-Star Weekend. All things that Adam Silver concedes. He arrived in 2014. I'm just looking at some notes here. Adam Silver's first season as NBA commissioner in 2013-2014. Did y'all know that 15 of 25 All-Star selections played at least 75 games that year? Eight of them played at least 80. But this past year, only four of 27 All-Star selections played at least 75 games, with none of them playing 80 games. Participation is what it's all about. That's why they got this in-season tournament. This is what they did. So they're going to have to figure it out again. And we'll see whether or not they will. But it was an honor and a privilege to have Adam Silver on with me. Very important that we had that conversation so people know what time it is. The NBA is thriving. The NBA is going to continue to shine. In-season tournament, no doubt. We're going to continue to do that. I think that's going to end up blowing up, it's going to be relevant and what have you, and that player participation matters. You cannot have dudes missing a bunch of games, but I did make sure to point this out because it was very, very important. We got to stop blaming the players all the time. We got to be fair. The fact of the matter is it's not what it used to be. Doctors used to stitch you up and say, you're going to be just fine, send you right back out there and play. Now doctors got more control than the coaches. Doctors will tell you you can't play. It's just that simple. They'll tell you you can't play. And they'll collaborate with the analytics department because the analytics department want to go by the numbers and they say, hey, you know what? You don't play. You're not subjecting yourself to injury. You're good. But Joe Dumas, who runs basketball operations for the NBA league office, is like, I want to hear that. Yeah, be damned. If that's going to happen, the fact of the matter is you, you signed a contract and the contract calls for you to play as many games as you possibly can if you're not healthy. It's an 82-game regular season. You don't get to circumvent that. That's what they said. 
So I decided to call up. You know what? I'm looking at Joe Dumas. He's 60 years old now. But Joe Dumas, I might remind y'all, was a Detroit Piston his entire career. From 1985 to 1999. That's 15 seasons. I'm looking at Joe Dumas' resume here. Okay? Do y'all understand this about Joe Dumas? Joe Dumas, up until his very, very last season, and we don't know if it was injury or he just didn't play, from 1985 to 1998, Joe Dumas played all 82 games twice. I'm sorry, three times. He played 80 games a season at least once. He played 79 games a season. This is when it was more physical now. 79 games a season. They didn't run as much, no doubt. They weren't as athletic as they are now, no doubt. But hey, Joe Dumas was doing some running. 82 games, three times a season, 80 games with 100, uh, you know, once, one, one season, 79 games, twice. What do you say? We don't see that today. Something's got to be done about it. Something's got to be done about it. So I'm proud. I'm happy that Adam Silver spoke up about it and put everybody on notice. So we all can join in in making the NBA product and helping the NBA product continue to thrive. More power to them. Make no mistake about it. I know I'm rooting for it. I'm here for it. I'm going to always root for the players. But you got to do right, too. You can't just be missing games when you're healthy. Damn that. Damn that. But it ain't their fault either all the time. Them damn team doctors and the folks in the analytics department. Maybe the eye should be brought on them. Maybe we should get names and faces to attach to them so people will know when they messing with fans entertainment.